Tech back with another video tutorial for you guys. First off, I want to say, um, post in the comments what you think of the intro. It took me a while. I think I might make a tutorial on how to do it. No promises, but look for that maybe in the future. I'm not sure if I can make one because it took me about a day and a half to make that, and I'm not sure how I'm going to fit that into 10 minutes. Might make a multiple part series on how to do that, but anyways, yeah. I might possibly be coming out with a tutorial on how to do that, but anyways, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install fonts for your computer, and also I'm going to be talking about a program called OpenOffice.org. First off, we'll talk about that. OpenOffice.org, it's like Microsoft Office pretty much, It's except one difference, one big difference, it's free. So yeah, it's pretty much everything that Microsoft Office is, Excel, PowerPoint, Word, but it's all free. So here is Microsoft.org Writer, which is the equivalent of Word, and it's just like Writer, so test. There you go. Looks, the interface is almost exactly like Word, and yeah, that's OpenOffice Writer. Um, no, I don't want that other ones it has uh, base calc draw impress math and writer writers like a uh, word this is an equation one where you make equations this is like PowerPoint impress draw is like paint or it's a little bit more complex than paint but not as complex as GIMP or Photoshop I'll be getting to GIMP in a later episode calc is like um, Excel and base, I don't really know what to compare it to. It, you use it to manage databases and stuff, as it says in the description that pops up. Manage databases, create queries and reports to track and manage your information by using base. So yeah. Oh, and by the way, if you see this, look for this in a future video tutorial. I have a whole list of stuff I'm planning to do and um, stuff that I need to get to. So yeah, if you want to request a video tutorial, send me a private message. Please don't post it on my comment section because on my page because I might not see it there please send me a private message and that way I can keep it um, in my inbox so I can see it every time I go there you get a message or something and if you send me a request I will not respond to it that way I can see the request because I respond to it it deletes it so I won't be able to see it so yeah if you send a request I will not respond to it but I I will get it and I'll add it to the end of the list and yeah so you can o download OpenOffice by going to OpenOffice.org and on the main page go to click I want to download OpenOffice and just click download now. Um, it will download it. You'll get a startup uh, setup file. Just run it. It will go through a wizard real quick. Pretty easy. And I told it to add it on to my start menu. You can also choose um, a desktop uh, shortcut and you get all of these for free. So yeah, that's OpenOffice. Next, uh, l let me minimize this real quick. Or you know what? Yeah, hold on. Let me open up Open Office Writer again, really quick. And if it loads, oh, and by the way, I only have 256 megabytes of RAM. So yeah, this computer isn't very good. And yeah, so anything I do, it should happen faster on your computer if you happen to have anything faster than 256 megabytes of RAM. So here's a here's a custom font I have downloaded called Abstract. See? Abstract. This does not come preloaded on your system, and I'll show you how to download something like this. Let's go ahead and exit out. And what you want to go to is defont.com. Here, here, let's go to the main page. And it should look like this. Here's your sections. Choose what type of font you want. And here's a list of base fonts. Added. Let's go ahead and download Happy Phantom. To download it and install it, just go over here and click Download for PC or Mac OS X and click Save File. Should save it to your desktop. That's where I have mine to go. Um, and here it is. Yeah, here it is. Go ahead. Let's extract the file. Or not explore. Sorry. Let's go ahead and extract. Exit out of this next next and just finish should open up and here we have happy phantom and happy phantom dummy let's just we're just want we just want to install happy phantom to do that we go to my computer go ahead to c drive 
windows and two fonts so this is all the fonts you have on your computer and to install this happy phantom file all you do is click it and drag it into here we'll say installing font 101 and you've installed it so now you can go ahead delete this because you don't need it anymore delete this where we extracted it to because you don't need it anymore and now if we open openoffice.org writer um, we'll have it in the font menu we can go down and choose happy phantom and you can use it so let's see go up to H's there we go happy phantom So yeah, that's how you download and install custom fonts. If you want to request a video tutorial, send me a private message. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos. Check out the website, link in the description. And check out my other channel. Link will also be in the description. So yeah, um, I don't normally have a question of the day for these video tutorials, but today's question of the day is how, what did you think of my video intro? Should I keep it? any changes I should make to it. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching, and yeah.